Anthony Hartwig here with another Austin Town Fitch volleyball player profile, joined by another senior, Alex Fitcher. Alex, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for having me. And we said to the top seven seniors on this Austin Town Fitch team, what's it like to be part of such a big senior group? It's so much fun. These girls, they're all my best friends. Like, we've been together since seventh grade, and it's just been a blast, like, growing up playing volleyball with them. And we're just all best friends, and we all get along so well. So many leaders. Uh, is the dynamic leadership, do you all have different leadership qualities, or, or do you guys try to lead as kind of a unit in the same kind of fashion? I think we all definitely like have our own different ways of leading. Um, some of us are more like fun and like just like loose and excited all the time. And then some of us are more like vocal leaders and we like are loud and like just get so excited and everything. How would you describe your leadership qualities? Um, I definitely am more of like vocal. Like I get excited. I scream so loud. Like at the, I can just get so excited at like the littlest things. And I just feel like I help get everybody excited. And a lot of seniors, but also some, some new faces, some young faces on the team. How has it kind of been like, you know, you don't have to gel with the seniors because you've been playing with them so long. What's it been like dealing with some of the new faces and the young kids on the team? Because they seem like they're not missing a beat either. I feel like they're just all so good in their own ways that we all just work together really well because like they know what they need to do and we just work together to get things done. As a hitter, you are blessed with one of the best setters in the, in the area. Senior, she's been doing it for a long time with you. I'm sure the connection between you guys is solid. What's that like having a setter that you've worked with for so long and kind of knows you inside and out where you like the ball set, where you want to get hit? I think definitely since we were on seventh our seventh grade team together and it's just since then we've worked together to figure out where I need my sets and where I like them and Emma does a great job of getting me how I like them just so I'm able to put the ball down and where it needs to be. Talk to your teammates that Canfield win was so huge they keep telling me you guys haven't beaten Canfield in so long. Walk us through that match because you guys were down 2-0 and I, I feel like the senior leadership kind of stepped up and, and pulled you guys out of that hole that you dug yourselves in. Yeah, we definitely, like, we went in with the mindset, like, we can do this, we know how. But then the first two sets, it just didn't go our way. And then we were like, okay, we need to focus. We know we can do this. And we just fought back, and we knew we could, and we came out on top. And with such a big win, there was no layover after it. You went up, you beat, I think Boardman was the next game. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Howland? I believe after that. So what was it like, you know, that was such a big momentum swinging win for your program, but you celebrated it and then you moved on and you focused on the next opponent. What was that? What was the next practice like? after? That? We, after I remember we had lifting and we went in and we were all so excited to lift and we just had like a great lift that day. And then we went to practice and we practiced really well. And we just knew it was a big win, but we had to move on to focus on getting the next wins. Now, unfortunately, we have to talk about bouncing back from the first loss of the season. Very tough Highland team. You guys took them to five sets over the weekend. What's the mentality after a loss now that you guys kind of finally have to deal with some adversity? Uh, they were a good team, and we fought hard. We just – they came out on top, and we definitely know what we need to work on, like from how we played yesterday. And we just know that how far we can go, and we just have to keep working. Looking at your schedule, it's brutal. There's so many good teams, so many big name programs on that schedule. How much does that prepare you guys for the tournament come come postseason time? It's definitely going to help us a lot because we know like the tough competition we'll see in tournaments. They've taken us out in years past, and we just know that playing tougher teams in season is going to help us progress. Now coming into the season, what were some team goals that you guys set for yourselves? and that you guys really wanted to make sure that you checked that those goals off your list this season? Oh, we definitely want to win the conference. That's been one of our goals for the longest time. And I think this year's definitely the year we can do it. And just to see how far we can go, we definitely want to win as much as we can and just progress in tournament farther than we have in years past. What about some personal goals for yourself that you set in your senior season that you wanted to kind of see yourself uh, accomplish? 
I've definitely just wanted to get better and like just keep getting better. I know those things I need to work on and I want to focus on them as much as I can and just keep working. And I know we're early into the season, but if you kind of had to give yourself a grade right now about how well you're doing as far as reaching the goals you set coming into the season, what kind of grade would you give yourself? Like in B, A minus. I feel like I've definitely, like since quarantine, I've definitely worked up to where I know I can be. And so I'm definitely like getting better as time goes on and I'm working harder and I know that I can do what I've set for myself. I like that answer because, you know, you're giving yourself props, but you're also realizing that there's still always room for improvement with the A minus, always get an A plus, you know? Um, what what were some of the things when you went through this summer when there was so much uncertainty of whether or not there would even be a volleyball season and trying to keep yourself mentally ready and prepared for, you know, whatever volleyball looked like in the fall? We, like as a team, we definitely knew that there was chance that it wasn't going to happen, but we just all had to go in with the mindset like that it was going to happen. So like we had to all work hard. We knew we had to get ready just because in case there was going to be one. So every practice we'd come in and just work, like we acted like there was going to be a season. Talk about this coaching staff and what it's been like to work with them and, and help, the, help them build the program. And then they, they can help you grow as a person as well. I've known Coach Barlett since my seventh grade. She was coaching eighth grade when I was in seventh. And she's just helped me out so much. She, like, had trust in me when, like, seventh grade when I tried out when I wasn't very good. And she, I made the team, and she's just helped me grow into a better player and a better person. You know, we all see Coach Bartlett on the sideline during the games. What, give us an inside scoop on what, what her practices are like and, and what, her, what, what she brings to the table, what kind of characteristics as a coach she has. She's a great coach. She takes, like, we look at games and what we did and what we can improve on, and then we go into practice knowing this is what we have to work on to get better. You know, one of the things that we, when we cover volleyball, we, you guys don't really get a lot of practice time because you're getting three or four games a week. Not a lot of time to go into the gym and fix what you might have done wrong in the last game. you got to fix things on the fly in the next match. As a volleyball player, what, what's that mentality like when, when maybe you – don't do something great in one match and the only way to fix it is to go do it better in the next match. Yeah, like yesterday, for example, I was having like issues like on tip coverage and I know it's something that I'm, I need to work on. So I'm just focused on our next match we play tomorrow. I know that I have to go in with an open mind knowing I can do it and I'm going to be able to get to those balls that I was struggling with yesterday. What was that moment like in the summer when they did green light volleyball and you knew you were going to play and ever, the reality set in that, that it was going to happen? It just made me so happy. I knew since it's my senior year, it's like the last thing we have to go out and just knowing that we're going to be able to play and have a senior season was just so exciting. It is your senior year. You guys already had senior parent night. You had to get out of the way early just in case. So what was that kind of like? Because it's not the normal senior night where it's at the end of the season. It's had a lot of matches to play afterwards, but you still kind of had that moment where you got to reflect and realize that this is my senior year. It's the last ride. So what was that kind of like? It was definitely emotional because it's like, wow, it's our last year here, last time playing with all these people together. But it was also like we have so many games left and I know we can go so far. And then you guys took care of your business on senior night. I mean, we talked to all the seniors on senior night. What was it like balancing that emotion and feeling what you had to feel that night, but then focusing and preparing for that game as well? It was definitely like sad, but also it's like, we know we can do this. We had to go in and get done what we had to do to win the game. When you do graduate, you walk down the aisle, what are going to be some of the things you reflect on memories with Austin Town Fitch, not just the volleyball program, but the school in general and, things that you're going to hold and treasure for the rest of your life? I just love Fitch. I've made some of my best friends that I know I'm going to be friends with for the rest of my life. And I just had a great time there. All of my teachers have helped me become better, a better person. And I've just had the great, greatest time at Fitch. And I'm so glad to be a Falcon. Sounds like you're an absolute proud Falcon. What is, can you pinpoint something that makes you so proud to wear the Austin Town Fitch colors and makes you proud to represent your school? 
just in general, like, I feel like being a Falcon is such a big thing to everyone. Like, I don't know, especially, like, with volleyball. Like, we're all such a tight-knit group, and we just all are so proud to be with each other and play together. And One of the things I'm noticing real fast covering the volleyball program and covering the athletics program at Fitch, that athletics program in general is this really tight-knit. I mean, everyone's got each other's back. The football team has your back. You know, I'm sure you got the football team's back. What is it like being a part of such a tight-knit athletic community in the school? It's just so much fun. I know that, like, if people, like, it's hard now with tickets because it's, like, pre-sales. But I know that this year, if we could have had extra people, that we would have other athletes come and support us. And I know I like going to support my friends that play other sports. And it's just nice knowing we have everybody on our back to support us. What are some future goals after graduation that you have that you kind of want to see yourself succeed in? Well, I'm actually committed to play volleyball at Hiram, and I want to study exercise science and become a physical therapist. So let's talk about that. You committed to play at Hiram. You committed before your senior season. So now none of that worrying about, you know, exposing yourself or trying to get on coach's radar during your senior season. You're just able to play. How does that help you this year where, where it's just focused completely on high school season and you don't have to worry about anything else? It's nice just because I feel like there's a pressure lifted off because it's like if I have an off game, it's not like, oh, coach is going to look at that and be like, oh, we don't want her. I know that I'm so excited to go to Hiram. I love it there, and I just know it's where I want to be. So I'm just so excited. When you committed to Hiram, what was it about Hiram that, that you know got you there, that, that got the hook and – and made you want to, you know, this is where I want to go. I was talking to like some different coaches and I was going on visits and then I went on my visit at Hiram and I just, the campus there was beautiful and I loved it. And I just knew that's where I wanted to be because it felt like somewhere where I needed to be. And I do know they have a very strong volleyball program. So that had to be a very good recruiting tool as well. Yeah, I'm so excited. So now when you look at, uh, you know, you're almost done at Fitch with volleyball. What are some of the favorite memories with this volleyball team over the last four years? Definitely meeting my best friend, Kate. She had, I met her, well, we played in middle school together, but we didn't really know each other. And then freshman year, we really just became so close. And I know she's going to be one of my best friends forever. And then just meeting all of these new people and becoming friends with them and knowing that we have such a tight bond. You know, that's because Austin Town Fitch is a much bigger school than a lot of schools in this area. There are some, probably some people in your class that you've never met in your senior class. What's that kind of like, you know, you know, maybe you see someone in the hallway and you're, you're like, hey, who's that? Or, 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 you know, it's not, it's a, it's a bigger school. What's, what's that mentality like going to the bigger school? I like it personally just because I feel like there's new people at all times that I could meet. But it's also, like you said, I'll see a person in the hall and I'm like, I've never seen them before and like, I don't know what grade they're in. But it's just, it's cool because there's all these new people that you could always have the chance to meet. You brought up some teachers that have impacted you throughout your high school career. Who, who are the teachers that kind of help shape who you are as the academic side of, of Alex Fisher? Um, definitely Ms. Barker. I had her for um, anatomy last year and I just love her. She always made my day better and just having her, I knew I wanted to go to her class and have like that class. And then my English teachers, Mrs. Carcelli and Mrs. Lugers, they're both just, I know that they're there for me and if I ever needed anything, I could go to them and they could help me. And when we do these player profiles, we always want to make sure we give every player the floor to kind of thank the people that have supported them over the years and, and the people that are your support staff, your support system. So the floor is yours to kind of thank whoever you want to thank for, for everything they do for you. I definitely want to thank my parents and my grandparents. They've supported me since day one, since I came home and was like, I want to try out for the volleyball team. They were like, oh yeah, like they were like, okay, you can do it. And they've just always been there to help me and they drive me to practices, pick me up, make sure I'm eating right and all that. And they just take, they've taken good care of me and made sure that I was ready to go. And my grandpa, my grandpa was, and my dad are probably my biggest supporters. They always try their best to make it to everything. And they're just always there complimenting me, telling me how I did, but also helping me like get better 
and like if I did something like if I was off the game they'd be like it's okay you can do it and move on to the next one during quarantine all kept in the house for so long what was your kind of favorite quarantine activity during this spring when, when you couldn't go outside um, me and my sister uh, got the Wii out and we would play a bunch of Wii games like just dance and stuff we we did that at the YSN office too, so we definitely feel the the need for we. So I, I like that you brought that up, Alex. Thank you so much for for giving us your time. We definitely love um, covering you guys. You guys are such a fun volleyball team to watch, and uh, we look forward to seeing what you do down the road. Thank you for having me.